learning a programming language is very difficult or is it and that's why i am making this video in my programming journey i have heard many people saying that they cannot learn a particular programming language uh, maybe because they don't have adequate resources uh, they don't have good teachers who can teach those stuffs and maybe because they don't know how to process it so. so i thought that yeah there should be some centralized uh, video uh, which will uh, like address all these problems to the beginners and as a student uh, myself i still learn many languages so i apply those skills which i am going to share with you guys and i hope those uh, tips will help you in this journey currently i know more than 7 languages and uh, with the libraries like react and also with node.js uh, express.js and mongodb and in the uh, mobile development side i also know react native and currently i am also working on an internship uh, on the post of uh, ux and ui designer and react developer so whatever i accomplished uh, whatever i learned i never spent a single penny on that all was free and all was because of the internet so you can do the same and here i am going to share all my tips so i have divided this video in three categories uh one is for the first one is for complete beginners who don't know anything about any programming language at all they are complete beginners complete fresh mind and want to start a fresh journey second a uh, category is for the intermediate students like those who know uh, a couple of programming language a couple of things about programming languages and uh, they want to advance more into more complex pro the third category of students are like advanced category students now you might think that yeah uh, advanced category students might know all those programming languages but why still they need a video but uh, my thought was that if i am wanting to make a video about uh, addressing this topic then i also want to address those students because once you learn a programming language you have to keep update uh, on all those uh, programming language because they change every day many people contribute many things in this uh, programming language and you have to know all those things like for example as uh, i told you about react react uh, update itself many a times uh, and uh, whenever a update comes uh, the react uh, uh, we uh, we have to learn from its documentation we have to implement those things and it will make uh, make your work a much more easier so that's why it is very necessary for the advanced students also who knows a couple of things also uh, they need a a solution to update your uh, their knowledge in this video uh, i am only going to address about beginner and intermediate because otherwise this video will be too long uh, for everyone in the next video in the follow up video i'll uh, talk about uh, those advanced students and how you can update all your skills time by time so that you will be the top in your game so for the beginners you have a very valuable gift and that is your fresh mind so what i mean by that uh, i mean by that uh, is that you don't know any programming language now till now after that you will know so you can like program your mind itself to uh, to take all those knowledge into yourself so for that uh, what i will suggest step by step i will say is that you can start with the uh, So start with a pretty good programming language which is my personal favorite also and i i didn't start it with that because back then when i was in class 8 i didn't know about it so i want to tell you that if you want to start your journey then start with c++ and why i am saying that because c++ is a language uh which will like like help you to understand all those stuffs which are going behind the programming languages also like you write a programming language you should as a programmer you should also know what is going behind it it is something which should be in your knowledge 
because uh, something will go crash in in the future you can also solve that problem too so how c++ help in that c++ help in that because yeah, it can uh, if you learn it yeah, it will help you to understand how the memory allocates that's the biggest uh, benefit you will learn uh, while you are learning C++ and it, it's also with the case of C you can also start with C but C++ is somehow easier than C somehow and of course uh, it's uh, like advanced uh, than C that's why C++ if you learn programming language then plus plus uh, denotes for the increment so C++ uh, it's like a go-to language for your beginners and after that you can learn C or Java it's it's your choice if you are like aiming for like a core engineering branches like I am in uh, in electrical branch many people are in also mechanical branch and aeronautics branch they need C C is the language uh, they need because C can communicate with machines and that's the beautiful uh, thing about C no other language can do the same as the C can every language like uh, like process it but it cannot do the C is the direct language you can write and directly instruct a machine that please do that work. That is the whole uh, necessary thing about programming language. So after C++ you can go to C, uh, C or Java. Uh, I have said the condition why you choose C or Java. Then uh, after completing C or Java uh, anything, uh, you can move to any uh, of the language of your choice. I will prefer go to Python. After completing C++, C or Java, then go to Python. Don't take Python at the first uh, because Python is a kind of language. Yeah, it's it's too a very powerful and very beautiful language, but it will not address many things uh, uh, like memory allocation. I will say it will not address that thing if you don't understand that thing then you cannot understand all those things going behind the programming language so don't choose python at the first later you can choose uh, learn it and if you are like machine learning enthusiast ai enthusiast like you want to contribute in that space that's the language for you but before that make sure you learn c c or java uh, anything uh, any uh, of these three languages you have to learn C++ or C is a must so don't forget about that now you know what to learn uh, after which step what you have to learn but now I am going to tell you what the resources you can use to ease your process in this learning process so what I have done in my whole journey is that uh, I never bought any Udemy courses, I never bought any Coursera courses, any type of certification courses at the first, at the beginner level. Rather I chose YouTube. I know you know many, uh, you know this point, but still I want to introduce how to search, how to filter your search in this. So go to YouTube and uh, just search uh, like whatever uh, you want to learn, like if you want to learn C++, then search C++ course playlist like this c++ course playlist then you will find uh, uh, the main courses along with their playlist uh, otherwise what we will do if you only write like c++ or c++ course or c++ tutorial uh, you will find like a single video and then will not get the follow-up in the most of the times so just remember the keyword like the programming language course playlist by this way uh, you can uh, find many of the courses freely and they are awesome many of the creators like doing a great work spreading their knowledge and you can follow them freely so that's a great thing to do other than the YouTube uh, you will find many other websites which will help you in this journey like uh, if you are in India then uh, you may know uh, about gigs for gigs uh, it's it's a great website uh, to learn any programming languages and uh, you can uh, uh, learn from programmers and also one uh, website from where I learned also that is uh, free code camp and their website is like fantabulous they have uh, many challenges also which where you can like uh, practice all those concepts you learn 
and uh, solve many problems and uh, just improve your skills so now you know uh, like what to learn uh, after what uh, like the first step what we have to do from where i have to learn how to find the right courses and what are the good websites then uh, learn from learn from it and like then you are like in line with this all the process so now uh, comes the fun part so the fun part is that if you don't practice all those concepts regularly uh, for a for a fixed amount of time then you may forget many of the logical uh, aspect of the program programming is not all about like writing a piece of code copy and pasting here and there and you you are done not like that 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 is a wrong type of programmer the main objective for programmer is that you have to build logic you know how to build logic that is the main thing which you learn in your whole programming uh, like journey so how you can do that so there are a couple of websites again uh, from where you can practice all those things like uh, there are like websites like lead code and then hacker rank lead code is like like a, uh, a like what else a, a higher level of kind of thing but uh, like you if you are like a kind of beginner then go to hacker rank you will find a couple of problems solve them get rank it will give you a global rank of course <laughs> and uh, that that will also uh, boost your confidence and uh, they have also uh, something called badges like fancy badges golden badges five star rating six star rating all those things are also there uh, so that will also motivate you but the website like uh, hacker rank uh, promotes uh, competitive programming like it's a branch of the programming where uh, a a student or a, like a programmer competes with many other programmers to solve a kind of a logical problem uh, using uh, any of uh, his or her uh, chosen language like language so uh, that's the thing with uh, competitive programming but uh, uh, from the personal point of view i don't like competitive programming that's uh, that's a kind of thing uh, which is like in, in built with me i cannot change it rather i like uh, uh, project building type of program i like to build projects uh, around all those things like if i learn c then i will make projects using c i will make games using c i'll use uh, it in a very practical way so uh, that's the kind of thing if you like that type of programmer then please uh, Uh, like if you want to do projects then please go ahead there will be no drawbacks uh, you can still learn a programming language as at par with uh, with those competitive programmers at least what i know uh, and uh, what i did with my whole journey and speaking about projects like projects are very important if you are beginner so don't forget whenever you uh, learn any programming language if you learn c then build projects using c if you learn c++ then you uh, build project using c++ and like that and uh, if you are learning any web development subjects web development uh, uh, programming languages like html css javascript or any uh, frameworks like react then the this uh, component the project component is very important very vital for you uh, without it uh, you cannot ensure that you are a good web developer so you make sure that you have to do a ample of projects to show your recruiter or like your or or any or you want to show those skills if you if you want to show them to your teachers you can do that and that and a better way to do that is to build a github account and uh, that's a whole another topic uh, for another video i'll not uh, tell you more about that in this video rather i will just give you a short brief about that github uh, is a uh, online repository so if you are like a beginner uh, i will suggest that make make one whatever you build whatever the small however the small it is just just push it in uh, those repositories and show it to the world 
contribute to the open source development uh, that will increase your like reputation a lot as a programmer so as a beginner just follow all those tips and you are all set i am i am guarantee that you are all set and uh, you will kill any programming language you will ever encounter in your life so that's it for the beginner section now for those who are like intermediate students those who know a couple of programming languages and they are not like a beginner totally beginner they know at least one like c++ or c or java anything so for them how to increase more uh, uh, how to increase uh, more your knowledge in this journey so for them uh, i have a couple of tips also uh, and it, it will be short because you know the way you are not a total beginner so you know the way how to learn a thing so for the intermediate students try to follow if you are like like uh, learning a, a particular language like you just learned c or c++ then you want to um, advance into python then try to follow courses as you are doing uh, like in uh, when you are like a beginner along with that you can also refer to documentations and that's the thing uh, which uh, which will ensure that you are like totally up to date all to all the knowledge you are getting from a particular course because many times courses are not updated and that is very required uh, when you are like a programmer uh, doing a real world stuff at the real time so make sure that you refer documentation and uh, with the courses you are following uh, like if you are learning python there are temple of documentations out there uh, for the python along with that uh, make sure that you also search uh, uh, many repositories out there many open source code out there if you are learning like uh, for example python then just search for many uh, open source code in github uh, that what are the related to python what they are doing related to python and just map uh, what we have to do like if i finish python then what i have to uh, do next like do i have to learn tensorflow uh, or i have to learn uh, i want to learn uh, django or flask other things other um, frameworks so that that is completely your thing you have to plan plan accordingly uh, that is the thing if you are uh, like an intermediate stu uh, student you should do also one last point for intermediate students is that make sure that your github is up to date like from now onwards if you are not like that much uh, into the github thing or in the open source programming thing in when you are like a beginner then it's the time it's the time to start github and if i speak about myself when I was also intermediate, uh, like uh, a programmer, when I learned about C, C++, Java, Python, after that, uh, I started GitHub and it was not until uh, like uh, late uh, 2019, early 2020, I guess, I built my, uh, like I created my first uh, GitHub backup. So that's the thing uh, which you can do from now onwards, maintain a good GitHub profile update your repositories with latest uh, latest code whatever you practice whatever how small it is doesn't matter just upload and make sure that you also have some good uh, big projects to show uh, to your uh, like your recruiters or your like uh, what i will say your teachers and many many more uh, guys for whom you want to uh, show it also don't worry uh, if you are like an advanced level student as i have said in the starting of my video that i will also share how you expand your knowledge in your particular domain or your particular interest in subject or language uh, don't worry uh, next video is coming up very soon uh, where i will address all those problems and all those things in a very very simple way so stay tuned for that video too and that will be interesting i guess so now you know what you have to do if you are a beginner or you are intermediate level student in this programming journey so that's that's all for this video and i hope that you like all these points and i'm very grateful that i try to contribute in your uh, programming journey and that is the main uh, thing you also have to do when you will also grow uh, in this journey you will also learn many of things and try to make uh, the career of others also try to uh, like uh, like share all your tips what your learnings what your failures 
uh, in this journey uh, with other beginners <laughs> at that time uh, that's the main thing you have to do you have to build a community good society so uh, that's it guys that's uh, that's all and i hope you will uh, you all guys will be well and i'll see you guys in the next video very shortly till then bye bye and it's me ratnadeep signing off